What is going on in the world? This is the daily output. I am Dre Day. And today's article comes from Front Page Detectives. A North Carolina man shoots five year old boy bike riding outside his father's home in North Carolina. So close of the guy and the victim. Carolina man was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole in connection with the fatal shooting of the defendant's five-year-old neighbor. Darius Sessions, Sessoms recently agreed at the Wilson County Courthouse to an Alford plea, which allowed him to maintain his innocence but admit evidence in a case that would likely result in a guilty verdict if he went to trial. Sessoms, 28, was accused of fatally shooting five-year-old Cannon Hennant in the head while the boy was riding a bicycle at his father's house <clears throat> home in August 2020. A witness to the shooting door, <clears throat> excuse me, a witness to the shooting, Doris Lynn Brand, said she saw Sessoms run up to Hennant hold a gun to the child's head, and then return home. My first reaction was, he's playing with the kids, Limburn said. For a second thought, for a second, I thought, that couldn't happen. People don't run across the street and kill kids. In a victim impact statement read in court, Hennant's mother, Bonnie Parker, said her son was her pride and joy, and losing him made us suffer for the rest of our lives. She also told the court her son's siblings, ages 7 and 8, witnessed the shooting. By taking an Alfred, Alfred plea, Sessoms was able to avoid the death penalty, and he was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for a first-degree murder. <clears throat> it brings us a little peace, a little bit of peace, Parker told WRAL of the sentencing, knowing that we're walking out of here today and we don't have to come back. We don't have to see him. My girls do not have to testify in court. That was the whole reason why he took the plea to this plea. It was best for him to take a plea so it would not have to get our girls up here. That is a horrible story. That's a cute kid, too. Me being the father of a six year old. I probably would have acted crazy, acted up in the courthouse like some of them videos I know y'all have seen on the internet when somebody loses a family member, but yeah, I don't ever want to put myself in somebody's situation like that, but just thinking about it, I probably would have went berserk in that courthouse, but uh, that's just my thoughts on it, say what TV or daily output. I am your host, Dreda. Y'all have a good one.